The commander of the Iranian Army's Air Defense Force says the country is equipped with systems that can destroy targets at a range of more than 200 kilometers. We have created cutting-edge capabilities and equipment, Brigadier General Alariza Sabahiford said during a ceremony to mark the 14th anniversary of the establishment of the force. Today, Iran's Air Defense Force is the strongest in the region and is among those which stand out in the world. Our enemies know about these capabilities, and exactly this has led to a change in their choice of words and behavior. The general stressed that Iranian forces have realized these achievements despite the limitations, threats and sanctions Iran has faced since the victory of the Islamic Revolution in 1979. The Air Defense Force is developing every day and is swiftly advancing and is using 100% domestically manufactured equipment. Today, we can detect, find, and if we deem it necessary, destroy any aircraft, regardless of its application," the general noted. He also warned enemies that any unwise decision to cross Iran's red lines will bring them a humiliating defeat. Meanwhile, the general announced the launch of the domestic Morigat, Sentinel, radar as well as the production of Albers three-dimensional radar. The latter, he said has a maximum range of 450 kilometers and can detect 300 targets simultaneously. All the systems used in the exercise are domestically manufactured and state-of-the-art technology at the global level, whether in the fields of reconnaissance, radar systems, electronic warfare and others," said Brigadier General Alariza Sabahi Fard, commander of the Iranian Army's Air Defense Force. The Air Defense Force is one of four army branches taking part in the exercise, codenamed Army's Zulfaker 1400, he said at a press briefing on the sidelines of the drill, reported the official news outlet of Iran's army. Surface-to-surface -surface equipment used from the coast on sea targets included anti-ship cruise missiles Gator, Nasser, and Gatter, said Admiral Mohamed Massavi, the spokesman for the drills. A target vessel locating 200 kilometers off the coast was successfully hit using medium-range Gator, launched from a tactical missile site off the Makran coast, he added. Nasser was used from a launcher ship of the Army's naval force on surface targets, also with success, the spokesperson also said. Masavi added that Gatter hit its surface target from a 300-kilometer distance, also shot from a launcher ship. A feature of the exercise was the use of the Arash suicide drone, which hit predetermined targets successfully, he added. Another drone, Electronic Warfare and Anti-Radar of Ahmed, was put to the test to neutralize simulated enemy radars. Tarek and Gatter-class submarines confronted surface and subsurface simulated threats using a variety of torpedoes, and a Tarek-class submarine was used to launch a 1 Mark C mine, the spokesman also said. Additionally, simulated aggressors were neutralized by rockets, and smart precision artillery fired by ground units, attack helicopters operated by the Army's Air Force, and combat drones. During the night from Sunday to Monday, the Merced Air Defense System shot down a hostile air target in coordination with Iran's integrated defense network, said Masavi. The main aim of the Zulfaker 1400 drill is coordinating Iran's military staff and acquainting younger servicemen with technical knowledge, said the commander of the Iranian Army's naval forces Rear Admiral Shara Marani, on the sidelines of the drill. Today Iran has the upper hand on the battlefield in case of confrontation, noted Irani. The exercise kicked off on Sunday under the command of the Army's Zulfaker base, with the participation of the Iranian Army's ground force, navy, air force, and air defense. Iran shot down a U.S. military surveillance drone in the Gulf with a surface-to-air missile in June. It said the drone was over its territory, but the United States said it was in international airspace. State television showed Rouhani attending an unveiling ceremony for the mobile missile defense system. With this long-range air defense system, we can detect, 
targets or planes at more than 300 kilometers, 190 miles, lock it at about 250 kilometers, and destroy it at 200 kilometers, Defense Minister Amir Hatami told state television. The system's unveiling came on Iran's National Defense Industry Day. Iran has developed a large domestic arms industry in the face of international sanctions and embargoes that have barred it from importing many weapons. Western military analysts say Iran often exaggerates its weapons capabilities, though concerns about its long-range ballistic missile program contributed to Washington last year leaving the pact that Iran sealed with world powers in 2015 to rein in its nuclear ambitions in exchange for an easing of economic sanctions.